Here's what happens when a grizzly bear mates with a polar bear. Suppose you are conversant with wildlife and stories from documentaries on wild animals. In that case, you will understand that crossbreeding between animals of different species is rare, even if they are of the same family. This crossbreed often happens in the laboratory or the private zoo, where individuals keep exotic animals. However, there are cases of crossbreeding of animals of different species in the wild. And the most amazing thing is that most people didn't know about it until an accident happened in 2006. This video will discuss what happened when a grizzly bear mated with a polar bear. Before we get into the video, remember to hit the notification button after subscribing to the channel. Thanks! When a grizzly bear mates with a polar bear, they give birth to a bear known as the grizzly polar bear or the pizzly bear. As strange as it sounds, it has happened before, and numerous examples exist of this animal. The physical features of the pizzly bear are a perfect balance between the polar bear and a grizzly bear. As an example, the body size of the grizzly polar bear is a perfect midpoint between the two animals, as it is bigger than a grizzly bear, but not as big as the polar bear. Also, the shape and size of the head mimic that of the two parent animals, as the head strikes a balance between the broad grizzly bear head and the lean polar bear head. The pizzly bear comes with shoulder humps like a grizzly bear, but the necks are as long as that of a polar bear. The soles of the bear are partly covered in hair, and not surprisingly, while the grizzly bear has no hair on its sole, the polar bear has hair that protects it from the cold of its natural habitat. Talking about hair, the hair on the pizzly bear's body exhibits the hollowness common to both parent bears. When examined in cross-section, the hair of the body of a grizzly bear is solid, while that of a polar bear is hollow. While the two parents' physical features are duly shared, the behavioral patterns tend towards the polar bear more than the grizzly bear. The pizzly was observed laying down the same way a polar bear does. It also breaks objects and hurls objects like a polar bear, breaks ice, and throws prey. The first sighting or discovery of the grizzly polar was made in 2006 within the Canadian Territory. A local hunter from Idaho was hunting on Banks Island in the Northwest Territories in the company of his local guide. The two men were hunting for polar bears and had shot an animal that looked like a polar bear from afar. Upon closer inspection, they discovered that while the animal looked like a polar bear, it was not a polar bear. The bear had the creamy white coat of a polar bear and dominant traits of a grizzly bear which included long claws, brown patches on certain parts of the body, a humped back, and a shallow face. The authorities had to be involved as it was criminal to hunt a grizzly bear in Canada at the time. The DNA test carried out on the animal showed that it was a hybrid offspring of a grizzly and polar bear. It became the first documented case of a grizzly polar bear that occurred in the wild. Another case was discovered in 2010 on Victoria Island, when an Inuvia Lewitt hunter shot what looked like a polar bear. Upon testing its DNA, it was discovered that the animal was a hybrid, and its parents were a grizzly bear and a grizzly polar bear. After this case, about six more cases were discovered between 2012 and 2014, bringing the total documented cases of the grizzly polar bear to eight. This brings us to the end of the video. We hope you find it interesting and educating. If you did, please turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we release another video. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video so that other people can easily find it. You can also share the video with your friends and family. 